All right, let's connect and talk about a new milestone for an Instagram star. Do you follow Kylie Jenner? No. <laughs> like, Me neither. Not. If not, you better get with it. The queen of Instagram has racked up her 300 millionth follower. That makes Kylie the first woman to reach that threshold. The 24-year-old makeup mogul and reality TV star is only the second person to reach that kind of audience behind soccer player Cristiano Ronaldo, who has 388 million followers. She has taken a bit of a social media break lately. The second most followed woman on Instagram is singer Ariana Grande. And all I can think when I see that, Dan, you have some catching up to do. I've got a ways to go. Just a little yep. bit. <laughs> Maybe you should start an Instagram. I've first. got a little ways to go before I care. Also, <laughs> oh. I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> it's okay. No need to be there. No need. Okay, let's talk about alone time. It looks like husbands and wives spend time enjoying what their spouse doesn't when they're home alone. So the survey comes from one poll. It asked 2,000 married homeowners over the age of 35 what they do to take advantage of the time their spouse is out of the house. Okay, so here's the results. One in three say they talk to themselves when their better half isn't home. Two-thirds say they binge watch movies or TV shows their partner isn't into. And about one-third say they cook or bake recipes their spouse doesn't like. That's funny. Is there, what do you guys do when you're home alone? I'm, mine's yeah, going to yeah. sound bad. No, go ahead. Let's hear it. We're all actually, family here. I actually get more done. You know, I always tell my wife, I tease her, you know, you're such a distraction. <laughs> She's so, a good distraction, but yes, yeah. I get yeah. it. So but I mean, I do projects, and, yeah, I, yeah. you know, I exercise more, yeah. I do more things, you know? Yeah, but you still want her as a distraction. Yeah, yeah, when I want her as a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, she's the best. She really she is. is. The best. Carrie, what do you do when you're home alone? When I'm home alone? Oh, mm, probably binge watch. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would what do. What about you? Uh, binge watch. I think I talk to myself sometimes, too. You really? Yeah, out loud. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that's an and interesting conversation. <laughs> it is. How often do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that, Dan. Do you it's argue? Fine. <laughs> yes. Whole argument, blow up. No. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm not the weird person, but it's just, you know, with wearing masks. As far masks, as you know, <laughs> nobody else is there to tell you. Nobody else is there. But I mean, with wearing masks out in public, I find myself talking to myself more because no one can see my lips moving. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yes. That's, so I am that weird person. If you hear me talking. That's different. Out. All of yeah. us are just thinking you had earbuds in or something. Yeah. So, you know, like you're really on a <laughs> phone call, but just, my just own friend. with your own mind. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at today's random poll. Updated results. What's better on a trip with a long weekend coming up? Uh, being spontaneous or having a plan, having an itinerary. This is pretty close now. 51% though of Utahns are saying being spontaneous. Ruth wrote in and said, the best trip has some scheduling so you don't miss out on something, but gives you time to be spontaneous, which we've talked about. But Steve Green comes out and says, I love not knowing what's gonna happen. The fly by your seat kind of person. The whole trip's a surprise, huh? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. How okay. do we wind up here? <laughs> and how do I get back? Stay. Thanks. Like, where am I? <laughs> Thanks, Danny.